Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And today I'm going to be showing the artist media, your artist media tool and how to make some custom brush strokes. So all I did is to, I made it like a barbed wire fence and I made it look irregular. I didn't put the post evenly in, in you know, the everything. Because, you know, if you ever drive down and look at a barbed wire fence, but all I did is real crudely, real fast, drew a, a strand of barbed wire. And there's, I've actually got a video out there on how to do this. So if you want to just search my name and barbed wire, and uh, you can see how to do this. But what I did, I just took that barbed wire and, and I grouped it all together. Then I went up, I, you press I on your keyboard, the letter I, and it comes up with this. And then you just go to your uh, barbed wire. And it's actually going to change that. So that that's not going to work. But anyway, and I've got it set real thick. So on this particular barbed wire, you need to be pretty thin. And there you go. I mean, you could play with it, make a straight line, you know, put a little curve to it because the barbed wire fences aren't right, you know, always. But then you can go and you can change it as long as you're off your subject when you press your I key. And then you can go to, let's say, stars. Okay, and now we're seeing we need to make it a little thicker. Okay, the duplicate tool, you could do that with the duplicate tool. But I don't think you could do this with the duplicate tool. And of course, you wouldn't want that eradicated. And it's just like anything else, when you go to your shape tool and click on it, you can actually take nodes out and add nodes and, and curve it. And I don't know, you know, when you'd actually ever use this, but I, I took one and, and made a, a uh, if you were going to make a, say, a flag that had this circle, you know, some country's flag that has a circle, you know, you go to the shape tool and you can, you can play with it till it's almost perfect. And it would look more like than it just, you know, a bunch of circle or a bunch of stars, because um, you know it's an uneven surface. You can do this. I made a link of sausage. So to do this, and I made this example, but I don't like it. So let's just let's pick something, uh, a shape, uh, basic shape, and we're gonna go to. Let's just go to heart. Make a heart, fill it in, go ahead and take out your outline, make you a duplicate of that heart, and you can actually have them touching or not touching, and then make you just quite a few of them. Doesn't matter that you're going downhill a little bit, and um, you know, you can make them a little ir irregular. Anyway, then take and, and group all these hearts together, go up to a range and group. Then hit I on your keyboard and press save. And I'm going to go with, I've already got one called hearts. So I'm going to go hearts two. And then you grab your brush. And this is one of the cases you need to make your, your brush stroke wider. And you know, maybe this could be used for a Valentine's day card and, and um, you know that you'd want to draw another line and have text to work you know text a path and have hearts underneath it uh, I'm going to try this real quick and I'm going to be sorry I did because that didn't work but anyway hope that helped a little bit and, and play around with it it's pretty interesting I don't know that any of you are going to make a barbed wire fence I was doing it for a cowboy theme engraving for somebody, but I can see the stars being used or, or hearts or just anything. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.